Greetings and welcome, everyone. It's All You Can Geek, episode 500. Woo. That's right. 500. <laughs> we have decided five to... 500. Zero, uh, zero. Woo! We decided to just take excited, a move. Man. The game <laughs> has... Like, like, where's one, the excitement? And... Woo! Gosh, well, wow. yeah, wow. Mike's background. Shoot. That's right. He's I'm one of your host, Jim Guest. Hang on. I'm one of your host, Jim Guest, joined by Mike Sneedy. What's up? Corey Feinstein. Yo. And Tony Korkanakis. On young. There it is. There. I now was we're doing that, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the one I use most often. I was oh thinking. Oh, my God. It. Yeah, guys, we have re- reached 500. It's not the 500 we expected due to the uh, COVID uh, lockdowns. But <laughs> everything's starting to ease up a little bit now. So, you know, there's some yeah. uh, there's some stuff on the horizon that's nice. It's there. Hollywood mm-hmm. ba- went back to work. The Batman's starting to film again. We can all relax. It's going to happen. Um, but yeah, so we, as I was saying in the beginning, we've decided to just merge this to one episode 500. I think that's more impactful. Yeah. 500 episodes, guys. We've we've clearly gone past that. I mean, we've had oh. bonus rounds. We've had yeah, yeah. yeah. sure. So many. Spoiler casts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So before the bonus rounds were Plus spoiler we're casts. Sp- yeah. We split and our podcasts, um, so, you know, yeah. 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 So we got like more. Um, content, but still, like, so much content. Yeah, so yeah. much. Yeah, we effectively we did definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did we did definitely we, stick... we know. That's what, um, I was trying I to go know, back and find years, it. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's been a while. It's definitely been a while. Since when? What? I don't know. I got. We got to go back and find it. Got to go back. Yeah. Anyway, we'll mm-hmm. we'll keep pressing. Do it live. See if we're well, doing it. Hey guys, welcome listeners and viewers to the 500th episode of this episode uh, <laughs> of this podcast. Um, man, I went back to listen to some stuff because we're going to be talking about like our favorite episodes. This is like a this is like a one of those nostalgia rehab re- nostalgia runs, yeah, that you see on the uh, on shows that you love. Um, we're going to go back and look at you know what we liked as our favorite like some of our favorite topics, yeah. all the stuff that happened during these five. Episodes. I mean, there's, like, there's a lot, shit, like, including, including COVID-19 right now. Uh, but, but hold on, Jim, just mm-hmm. before we we're saying, when were we? Like, when did we split it? It was at 300. 300 was our last single podcast episode, and then from 300 on, we went from movie cast uh, and game cast. So 301 was our first movie cast. Okay. 301 was our first game cast. Separated. Nice. Okay. Nice. So it's been 200 episodes um, since we split. Yeah. How about That's that? pretty what impressive. That? Look that. That's pretty impressive. Mailed I like it. that. I like that. Yeah. That is good. Hashtag it's all uh, yeah, so guys. <laughs> it all connects. Yeah. It all um, comes back. Yeah. I mean, guys, I had uh, my notepads missing, but I'll just wing it from what I remember from my notes. But yeah, so we had like some great, great conversations over these 500 episodes. I think I think our best, we're at our best when we're arguing, <laughs> almost arguing, not hatefully. I mean, well, sometimes it gets pretty heated. Sometimes it gets, heated, it gets but, heated. It gets uh, heated. But yeah, I wouldn't say, yeah. I wouldn't say it's ever been really like disrespectful. No, 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 definitely um, not. It's not like we've ever been in a feud where we refuse to talk to each other. Afterwards. Right, right. It's been like, are you serious? Like, how could that be your yeah. number three? Your number three. You watched yeah. it eight times in theaters. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I had a uh, Mike a lot for Daniel Craig. Going back through the podcast before, there's a lot of me. Just like really calling out Daniel Craig to, to Mike because he always you've always hated him. Yeah, from the beginning. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a lot. You've been a Ben Affleck hater there. from the beginning too, Jim. Oh sure, sure. Yeah, we've seen. Uh, well, not yet. We haven't seen. I was gonna say we've seen three Batman people in the last uh, decade. Or you know, since we've done this, since we, yeah, have we seen we've three? We're yeah, about it's to. It's been uh, Heath Ledger. Um, well, oh, that's right. <laughs> well, it's been Christian Bale. Oh, sorry. I thought you said Joker. That's why I was sorry. No, no. Yeah. Christian Bale. Yeah, we've seen three. Ben Affleck, and it's about to be. Uh, and we know we're Batman. getting. Yeah. You know, and if you want to count, uh, what's the name? Will Arnett as uh, Lego yeah. Batman. Lego. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. You got a movie release. Count. It did. In the yeah. theater. Oh, there we go. Straight to DVD. Yeah. Uh, my uh, connection is, is um, changing. So we're good. Just it's funny, is the Superman, like, we, we talk about Henry Cavill becoming, like, Superman, and how he was too small to play the role. Because oh <laughs> he was, like, on the tutors. Yeah, I, went back, I was listening to an episode about um, 
that that came up where he's like he's too thin and gangly i was like whoa like the guy's like jack now <laughs> yeah uh you know that's i mean that's what always proven to me like the, when you have these people cast for roles you're always like really hate on them and i think you know since like heath ledger henry cavill like these people that i'm like this was dumb uh i've changed that stance to let you know i'll wait and see kind of thing now um mm -hmm. you know so that's why i'm like i'm holding you know Robert Pattinson, yeah, I hated on it at first, but I realized I'm like that's not fair. Give him a chance to uh, prove himself. Well, I hated. Uh, Chris, I will not take Chris, back. I hated Chris Evans as Captain America at first. Because he yeah. was Human Torch. I think he's yeah, he was Human Torch. Yeah. So I think like the only one like I won't take back is Ben Affleck because I stand by my statement. I just don't like the guy. <laughs> I mean, it's, yeah. that's that's really it. So I said it from um, regardless man, of how I, I, yeah. I think he had a good look for it. It's just he, he had weird direction <laughs> yeah so guys uh i want to say like i've had some great episodes i think some of our early early ones were hilarious of us just laughing uh adrian Bro brody's nose uh yeah. was a great podcast episode that mike and Corey were on tony you joined like episode 120 i think you hopped at one 110 Something 120 like that, somewhere yeah. there yeah because i listened to 100 104 you weren't on yet as a regular uh and then like 120 i think you jumped in as a regular. i know you were on episode um shoot uh, i know you were guesting on a bunch of episodes here and there yeah. like you'd be pop yeah. in uh because i know there was one in just, the 20s that you're in some of my like favorite were, memories were very different back then for us oh, we were, kind of butterface you were on that episode <laughs> oh really <laughs> yeah that's that's always, one like, the classic great yeah we used to be a little more politically incorrect <laughs> oh yeah. very politically <laughs> <laughs> all times change. Time I just change. remember the one time you said something very controversial. We had to edit that out. I'm not, so we, we're not we like talking rarely about that ever right do. Now. No, I know, but I am. Because that was like <laughs> one of even... that we rarely ever, we rarely ever edit anything. And we had to edit it. And we're like, yeah. I have to say, like, yeah, we used to kind of clip some stuff every now and again. We haven't done any edits in at least a few hundred episodes. So it's been pretty impressive. But, yeah, and it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you the, we did. Uh, uh, you get the Ross Snyder cut right away, folks. Right away. Yeah. No protest. Like, no need to have no favorite, that, um, uh, Twitter yeah. campaigns. Yeah. Yeah. Matter cut. Straight here. Yeah. Some of my favorite times were actually recording some podcast episodes actually at events. I used to bring a little recorder out oh, and yeah, like do the packs. recordings while we were there. Yeah. Yep. I, at the at those tables, I used to love to do that. And like going back and listening to those things, it's like the audio quality really wasn't that bad for being oh, a giant good. You had that, uh, of people around you. Had that portable recorder. That was awesome. Yeah. A little hand. I still have it. It doesn't work for me, but I still have it. The little Zoom H4, yeah. The new ones are great. Those I could, you know, I have one for work, and they, they, we always record at work for that. But um, my old one is it's still there, but it's uh, not as good. It doesn't the batteries. It just doesn't it doesn't stay on long. It overheats. Um, but yeah, so it's been a it's been a long uh, long run, and uh, you know we've had those classic episodes. Uh, I mean, Mike, did you think about any of your like fun, most fun conversations we've had on here? Um. I, I do remember the early ones that I, I enjoyed, just like we, the early times talking about Smallville. It was the last season oh, yeah, of Smallville, yeah. which just shows yeah. how long this has been. It's been pretty much 10 years, or maybe exactly 10 years. I'm not sure exactly. So uh, mm -hmm. this, for me, it's you know the first 10 years of my adult life. I pretty much was a year out of college when we started this. And uh, this sort of represents a commitment to me enjoying the things I liked the previous 20 years. For the next ten years, <laughs> uh, that, that's what this is. And um, early on, uh, it was a little pre-career for me, so I did more blog posts. I like, I like some, of, I like our blog posts. That's kind of why I like that we have the website still around, even if it's kind of a mess. <laughs> I, I wrote, wrote up some things. Uh, I did you the. Used to do uh, a little more, uh, yeah, the, the actual articles on the site. Yeah, I gone. did a. Uh, Charlie sad. Sheen. Charlie Sheen lives the lives the Assassin's oh. Creed. That, <laughs> oh, was, that, was, yeah, that was the one that was someone grabbed a hold of that and that one blew up a little bit yeah when he had that walking dead article that was oh that yeah, was... yeah yeah i did the walking dumb andrea <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, andrea that, this yep. was so bad oh, she oh, was such a yeah. tall guy yeah, yeah. i even yeah. i forgot this until i just looked i had this old feature called mike's likes where i basically was like this is shit i like look at it <laughs> where i mentioned uh angel and everything or nothing or the two that yeah. i saw i'm looking yeah. at that i'm looking at that right now on the site uh, yeah, so uh, I'm going to fix a couple of things on the site to actually link at least to the podcast. Um, yeah, we don't go that much. I mean, we don't do any articles anymore. We do – it's just a podcast basically now. We do our yeah, podcast. I mean, yeah. that was – again, that was when I was like – much – yeah, we're, uh, we're a little older I, now. <laughs> I mean, I had less of a more responsibilities. Then, so, yeah. yeah. 
if I'm, if I'm going to write something now, it's going to be for the family business, unfortunately. So, yeah. But, um, so th- that's what I mostly draw from when I think of the early years, you know, the, the, like before episode 100, like, I guess before Tony was a regular, I think mostly of like all those posts. Although Tony had, again, like the walking dead one, which was good. Um, and we did, we, we reviewed things more back then too. We have a few mm-hmm. handful of reviews on here from all of us. It's pretty interesting to go back and see them as well. Yeah. Uh, um, wow. Yeah. We did. Um, I mean, looking. I mean, it's been a, it's been a decade for this. There's no question in my mind. We we started over the summer, I think, of that year. Yeah, uh, looking back 20, at the first. 2010. Yeah. So we've we've seen so much. Uh, so much has gone on. We've seen generations of consoles come and go now already. I mean, this is we're going to be into the yeah, new gen, next yeah, gen next we, time. We started in the middle-ish, maybe late middle of the. We've, 360 PS. We have uh, we PS3. Yeah, we've been on the. Uh, you've you've heard my roller coaster of my Nintendo opinion, where I'm like, yeah, it's shit and it's great and it's <laughs> well, shit, well, and then I'm like, well, it's great. If yeah, you go so. back here, the one there's a consistent thing with the system releases is that Jim always predicts they'll come out about a year before they will, and I always say no. <laughs> yes. <That's>, so <laughs> what we need to remember the is, that is when I give my prediction. That. Yes. Well, I stand by it. Uh, but when I when I make my next prediction for when the system's coming out, we need to know we add a year. Next time this happens, in five years from now, when, when the next gen's coming... Well, you got it wrong with some... Oh, you don't say five years seven. from now, you moron. Seven years. <laughs> seven. Is that You're seven? falling into the same trap. Well, there we go. We already know it. I've made the prediction now. Six years from now, we're going to have the new consoles. Uh, no, well, <laughs> seven years, at best. So, anyways, that's on the horizon. We're talking about the past we'll here. We can have consoles... Um, at that point. Uh, you know, I mean, that's the other thing we're talking about. Like, everything's or changing. Maybe these I mean, are the last consoles, and they'll be iterated well, forever. We're always going to have a, we're always going to have a set top box console. I think we're always going to have that uh, option for people, and then there's going to be integrated stuff as well. I think you're going to have a mix. I, I really do. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I just, I, I know that uh, digital sales have been increasing. I've seen the way that the machines, like TVs, are being made in terms of integration with Amazon. There's no reason why you can't just stream. A system to your your TV anymore. Once yeah. we get to that I mean, point, at some for point, most people, right? At some point, these TV like these TVs will have like PS Now installed, Xbox, w- what is it, X Cloud or whatever, mm-hmm. and have built in stuff like that. Every TV is gonna be like those old hotel rooms with the N64 controller. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> remember that? I remember, that. I remember that. Yeah, They charged a lot of money for that. I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they did. <laughs> um, man. So I I just like. I also remember our um, Mass Effect 2 conversations, which lasted episodes. I mean, uh, again, like, uh, episodes. a whole year. Game, what are you talking about? Game episodes? Was for, <laughs> it's like every... That game for us was, you know, it's our, like, top. We we definitely listed. Was that it? That made our decade list, right? That was within the decade. Yeah, yeah I think it was yeah, our absolutely. top. I think it was our top. It might have been number one. Yeah, I mean, it was a big deal for all of us. When our we, review episode of it had um, three guests, I think. I think Casey and... No, it was three. That was three. Are you oh, talking about three? Yeah, because you guys. I was on three because I beat I think, that. Yeah. I think two came out before we were like I, recently podcasting, but the hype was about three coming, and we were yeah. I wanted to go back. To get to it. Well, we definitely like I we definitely reviewed. Because... It was all it was like we it was a lock for us. Like two was our number one game that year. Yeah, and yeah. I I remember having a conversation. You guys sold me on getting that game. And then I sold Buddha on getting that game. Um, and that's what started the whole trend of moving that out. Uh, but I, I don't know how that happened. I want I want to go back to that conversation on our podcast and listen to that again. I just wonder how that sold me on it. I'm like happy it did because it's one of my best games of all time, the Mass Effect 2 game. Uh, it, disappointing sequel, but uh, you know it's. I'd still like to see that. I'd love to see them remaster that. I really would. Like, I'd love to see remaster. Suppose that. we might get that. We yeah, might that, get that. Might that. We might get that very soon, actually. Apparently, because um, EA started listing games again on Steam, and apparently mm-hmm. they're having a digital conference uh, in a week or so. Uh, I hope they, if they do that, those. they include all the DLC because there's a lot, and I never played the Citadel DLC. Oh, it, I, it, it'll be complete. It'll be complete. I heard the no, Citadel no. DLC is really good, but I just couldn't bring myself to do it because I was just too sad about the world. <laughs> Not the real world, but Jim. I mean, I mean, that that broke you. You games for a, a while. Oh, like, I, I remember at least a I was year. Gone for mm-hmm. year like. A year. 
it was year a year and it took like i think like borderlands 2 to get me back it was yeah, borderlands yeah, 2 yeah yeah. Yeah. Well, that sounds yeah. Familiar, yeah yeah i mean that's obviously it's i mean that that's where that's where we got the illusion of choice really <laughs> yes that was, a, that, was a, yeah. that was such a fun time for me because like see the thing is like i had a different perspective because i remember you guys would not shut the hell up about this series and i was like fine i have nothing else scheduled like game wise you know what i'll, I'll play through them I, I i i think i borrowed it from one of you the first two mm-hmm. and i just plowed through it plowed through them and i was like okay one a little rough around the edges but it's a new it rough, yeah new ip you know totally get it it's very atmospheric i love you know the writing and stuff like that the mystery of um you know the reapers and stuff like that. i was like okay two was like i felt like terminator 2 or like everything was just kicked up a notch like right from the get-go like shepherd dies you get recreated like oh shit like you know whatever and, like that was awesome with the uh, you know even more loyalty missions choice mattering in the end stuff like that so i was hyped this is, and i beat it right before mass effect 3 came out and i was like all right let's go into this like let's do this guys and I was just like, what the fuck is this garbage? Like, literally, that's what I remember. I remember just, like, throwing my controller on my couch in disgust and be like... And I forgot what chat system we were using, because this is before Slack and Discord. I, I, think, we we were... I think we yeah, just texted. Yeah, I think texting. we just texted. And I was just like... Message. I was just like, I'm so mad right now. <laughs> Something like that. So, no, the thing is, I... I didn't have to wait for years like you guys did. I was just like, within, like, a three-month period, I, like, played, you know, mm. all three games. Yeah, yeah. I mean, for uh, a little while, yeah, it was, know. like, right up there for you, though. <laughs> yeah, for, oh, for me, yeah. Yeah. I think I like recall that. I had a, a notion or an inkling that someone said the ending was disappointing. It, it might have even been a review, uh, but it was... We, heard, we, we had we had a warning of three. Like, we, we did get a... When, everybody got kind of wind of it as we were playing it, and we still I continued to play I don't know about that, three. Jim. I think no, the reviews were overly reviews... positive. I even made yeah. sure they were, they were positive. positive. No, excuse, I understand that. But, but there were people that... that there were people it, that It got like a 9.5, but they sort of like, some might find the uh, ending uh, underwhelming. No. Yeah, it was, it was like, not, I'm not... <laughs> like, yeah, the ending might, I, might feel a little bizarre. I'm like, that seems like it should, you know... Like, I'm sorry, in a story-driven RPG like this, like, the ending to a trilogy that has, you know, granted, it has never been done before to that degree. It's like, oh, it's kind of important. I will was, say this. That was the big thing about that series was, you know, other games have done it before, but this was, like, probably the biggest one where it was sort of, you know, a selling point that have the save carry over for each each yeah, sequel. Yeah, choices matter. Yeah. That, I will say this, that literally was the last time I got, I read reviews. I don't even I don't <laughs> like reviews anymore because of that game. Like, uh, there's no reason to read a review now. It's See, more about I, I wait, for, I wait for he- feedback. I wait for le- hearing about like what people think of the game before I. I'm not reviews to me don't mean shit because of what they did to that game. Giving it nines and halves, tens. I mean, seriously, Mike, that that was biased bullshit. I mean, uh, clearly, it was, it was a good game. It was a bad story. It was a very good game with a terrible ending. It's true, but the multiplayer was actually a lot of fun in that game. It was gameplay wise. It was it was fantastic. I did not care about that at all. And the thing that that's I disagree about the multiplayer to me because we were sold that like these whatever points intergalactic readiness points or whatever it was called galactic readiness would matter. Like and I expected it to be like on a scale kind of like how the ending of Mass Effect Two was like. That was really all I wanted was that the ending would have that spectrum of success and failure that Mass Effect Two had. And I, that's what I expected. That's what we all expected. Like, it, the story mm-hmm. itself didn't even need to be, like, good per se, as long as it gave you that sort of measuring stick for your performance that two did. It, they just did it. I mean, it was mm-hmm. obviously, it wasn't a very definitive ending if you do things yeah. half-assed, but... They, yeah, they it was just, just the permutation of choices, like, they couldn't realistically do. And I, I kind of understand. And, and it like, is funny, because when you actually pay attention... In dialogue, they do carry some things over pretty impressively. They so do. Things kind they of do. Mar- matter here and there if you find the right person to talk to. Sure. Like, oh, but it's oh, like yeah, it's stuff but like, you know, like, I remember, like, the rack. Yeah, like, I remember, like, Rachni. the Rachni Queen. Rachni. Queen. I was that just was like, the... oh, I'm going to save him. And, like, it's like, okay, like, they help her at the end. But, like, even if you had, like, killed them, somehow they had, like, cloned the queen, and now you have to fight them. And I'm just like... Like okay, so it didn't matter. It didn't matter. Okay, thanks. Fuck you. Anyway, we talked about Mass Effect for a um, good portion of ten years, so we we don't need to talk about it more. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I I'm just looking through some of these episodes. 
we, we have to talk about Zombans. Do you remember we were like saying that <laughs> in the episode? So, no, I'm, I'm still a little baffled by how much you guys like this saying. <laughs> what it was we, a perfect classification for the movie. It was a movie. It was the, the, was the, the it was, zombie romance. It was it's the zombie romance movie. Um, what was that, Corey? You coined it. Did I coin it? I don't. Yeah, I thought, it was from yeah. your zombie. It's put. It's that zombie romance movie where the guy like there's zombies that are no, alive. I remember this movie. The, I don't remember what it's called. No. No one does. Let me just Google zombie romance. All I want to say is Romeo must die, but that's like a Jet Li movie. <laughs> yeah. Warm bodies. Warm bodies. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. Yep. That's I it. literally Googled zombie romance movie, and that like popped up. Yep. Um, that's uh, that's the guy that played Beast. Oh yeah! yeah. Wow, look at that. Yes. 2013. Yeah. 2013. Yeah. Yeah, and that, yeah, for a long, long period, we ended every episode with that. Dance. Yeah. yeah. That was a year or two. Yeah. I mean, that was a good run there. We had Mole Girl right before that. Yeah, that's like you were saying in the one chat episode, the following. Yeah. Yeah, one, 124 was Mole Girl. 126 what, was Zombans. What was it like? It was, um, what was she was from Chuck or something? I, well, no, I don't think. But it was like no. the something promo I images watch, like, had her also like facing the, diff- like, the other side of her face or something. And then like when you saw her, like the moles just like right in your face and... It's just like you couldn't take your eyes off of it. Like, it just uh, reminds me of hours. that Mike Myers part yeah. where it's like, moly, 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 moly. Uh, uh, yeah, we looked her up that. on the episode, one. and I don't. We looked her up on the episode, and I don't remember the name that she like. She played it only for that episode because they recast her, <clears> I believe. <throat> I don't remember who it was now, but um, yeah. So I, I don't know, but this one I just want to mention like early on episode thirty four. Uh, Jim and I talk about how we're excited for Sucker Punch, and then okay. I, I <laughs> do remember 30, you guys oh, were super excited about that. Episode thirty-five, we talk about how terrible Sucker Punch was and how um, Sucker Punch. Yeah, you guys. You, yeah. Sucker Punch. you did write a review for that one, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it, was, um, it deserved one. Yeah. Yeah, but I think we gave it a two and a one and a half or something like that. But uh, no, I thought that was hilarious because yeah, we were excited for because it, it, like again, Zack Snyder can frame like images and sequences in a way that is like very cinematic and very cool looking uh but to put it all together it just doesn't come through and that movie was a you know prime example of what he is essentially capable of <laughs> and yeah. like getting you hyped up for something it's like having these cool imagery these images and like you're thinking this is really going to be something cool with action-packed sequences and then just a pile of shit that um i think in my review something i i think i'd rather have rubbed sandpaper on my balls or something like that is what i'm saying <laughs> going angry video game nerd on that one yeah it was just it was so god awful and yep one of the one of the highlights as far as low lights go <laughs> yeah yeah that was just such a bad movie oh my god no. Uh, that was oh, the one way, I think we, we watched that movie like by watching something each of us went home and oh, watched yeah, we, another movie yeah. after that yeah yeah. Yep, and there's like they were kind of tied together like what the movie should be. I think I watched like a Denzel movie where he goes through time or something but yeah. um I watched something else I can't remember we talked about it in the next episode after that it was like such shit yep but uh, and then also in episode 38 we um talked about how Tony you and Buddha were gonna have a wow podcast as a spin off that never oh, happened geez. we were Man, no, we were close. Good. You know, I will give you guys, I, I will give you guys inside scoop, like those listeners and stuff that don't know. We were very close to multiple spinoffs. Like I had a couple of my friends wanting to do things like crazy. And I'm like, listen, we're not help. I'm not helping at all. I got all I can do for just this. And uh, they, they just never took off. Like there was Buddha wanted to do one. I think Geoff wanted to do one. I think it was like um, a magic yes. podcast that was discussed. So. Yeah. Yep. 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 I remember that now. But yeah. It was, uh... So you guys were like, um, like, when you do it every now and like I because I remember being in that boat like just being on the guest it's like oh yeah this is really fun and then like as you be, like after a rail it's like wow this is a lot of work and it's like <laughs> yep. uh you know and stuff like that it's like oh I can't juggle that many podcasts you know and stuff like that so I, I don't blame some of those people too it's like eh, they have an idea but they don't have the, the drive to do it but anyway anyway don't want to disparage everybody's anymore. got a million dollar idea just only yeah. a few actually put exactly. it in place or whatever implement it our first bonus round, guys. Who knows what our first bonus round was? Ooh. Gotta be a spoiler cast or something. Was it an E3 thing? Wait, Co- actual conference? bonus or spoiler cast? 
No, first bonus round. Bonus round number one was June 20th, 2013. Oh, jeez. That had to be E3. Had to be E3. Had to be E3, right? Bonus round number one, Xbox 180. Oh, shit. Wow. The Xbox One reveal then? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Okay, God. Yeah. Yeah, that was terrible. I remember watching that conference and just like my mouth was just like what the fuck are we watching tv dvd and like i remember even then like whenever he would like you know say like xbox whatever like his hand would go in his pocket like there's obviously a remote in there it's like dude and i remember even jim i think i argued with like i was just, dude there's no way the voice recognition is gonna be that fast like period yeah. mm-hmm. well, oh, i'll tell you that i had that for a long time in my living room, though, I would I would wake up every morning and uh, Xbox on and uh, start making my breakfast. I'm like Xbox to channel, you know, twenty three. You gotta justify the purchase, you know. You gotta like. You I, know, I did for a long toy. time. Yeah. yeah, I had it. Uh, well, but, that was a uh, interesting times because um, a couple episodes, obviously, you know, before all these systems came out, uh, we were talking about how what is PlayStation doing? Like, what? Like, why? Like, why is Sony like dropping the ball so hard right now? Because I think uh, the year before they released the PS4, they like fired their entire marketing team. Also, yeah. And and so like what, they're like, what are we? What are they doing? This is like this is terrible. Like Xbox has this in the bag. Like this is gonna be so easy for well, them. 360 was so good. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. Exactly. I mean, the, the thing for me though, I mean, was the Connect was bundled too. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, that well, that's what they just that's really like everybody's gonna have it like now it's like it's yeah. gonna be one of those things where people can just develop for because they don't have to worry about it's being an accessory it's just, people have it and it's gonna be everywhere but and, it drove uh, up the price and made it lose pretty much early and on. they were way ahead of their time as far as like the digital stuff oh yeah you like, if you I announce think... that now you get a better response now for me this was the this was the first generation where my primary first console was sony i had the playstation 4 uh because I was way into the 360 and hardly even paid any attention to the PlayStation 3. But mm-hmm. it, is, it was just so bad with the Kinect and all the focus on TV. I was just like, nope. <laughs> and uh, I just got a Xbox One like a year or two ago <laughs> now. Hey, listen, it, they've, turned, they've done a great job turning into what it is now. They have a great platform setting up for next generation uh, I will give them massive credit, but uh, as I said before, I've also learned my lesson in this generation of, you know, don't trust what you see. Yeah, don't, you know, show me. Don't like get hyped for something like Fable that you know never happened. <laughs> uh, you know, like don't Talk get hyped for three demos that. Exist. Not just the three demos, but like Microsoft themselves, they did terribly with their first parties. They they didn't come through with any of their original IPs that I was psyched for when this. I think if you listen to that episode, I will talk about it, like things I was so hyped for and they never came out. Yeah. Uh, and so it's like, you know, I've learned my lesson. Just like E3s. I mean, this entire it, it, over these ten years, I've now learned E3 is a bunch of shit, and it just needs to happen. <laughs> like we need to have these, we need uh. to have these digital events. And uh, I like these digital events we're having, and uh, I think that you consume consume when you can. That was, uh, that was I, my, one of my greatest, you know, predictions. Yeah. Was, you know, the but like, away from, the worst yeah. part I had with it was we almost still had it with the, the Xbox. You're way ahead of your time, part. Tony. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. You were you were just you were ahead of it. You, you were up too early. <laughs> uh, but like the um, I mean, look at what just happened with the Xbox third party games. Uh, those games looked like shit. They didn't have any. There was gameplay, so I, I feel like it's still happening out there. It's still happening. Like people need to be educated. This this mm. can't fly. What are you mm-hmm. talking about exactly here? What's still this, the, the latest? The latest? The, the latest E three demo garbage that just happened from at Microsoft last month when they did their third party games. Yeah. yeah no, 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 finally, at least people are starting to wise up to it now. I've seen so oh, many yeah, more people yes. criticize that. Yeah. Because I remember, like, one of the things I remember specifically was. For the PlayStation 4 reveal or whatever, um, they showed, um, was it Deep Down or something like that? And I remember calling bullshit on that one. I was like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, 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 no. Capcom no. or something, right? Yeah, it was Capcom. And I was like, no. And then somebody made it really like, oh, but you, you saw the like, you know the interface. I was like, dude, you can easily just create like some virtual Photoshop interface to go on. Whatever, right. Yeah. You can Photoshop that over. I don't believe this for a fucking second. Whatever happened to that? Nothing. Fucking yeah. nothing. Yep. And then yep. we've got confirmation yep. ever since uh, all these companies uh, that worked for um, you know various publishers 
uh, interviewed with Jason Schreier, and they're like, oh, yeah, we spent at least a year making a demo for fucking E3 for, like, what was it, um, Halo Wars or some shit. And well, y'all, did y'all do that? None of that stuff was going to yeah, be in the game. Th- and they right, knew exactly. none of that was going to be in the game. Right, they knew it, so it was just wasting time and effort, so, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. We'll no, see. It's if, interesting but... to go back, because um, obviously, like we said, it's been 10 years since we started, essentially, and uh, to go back and go listen to some of these podcasts and to hear what we're saying about things that we know are happening now. Like, we are talking about the Uncharted movie back in 2011 and how <laughs> Scarlett Hansen was going to be playing Elena. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. she got a little, and now uh, we're in 2020. A little still no <laughs> Uncharted movie. Wow. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's conversations we have, like... Um, I went back to like the original ones. I wish I had my notes in front of me. What's funny uh, is, uh, Tony, yeah. you talk about uh, Inception, and you say that's the movie, my movie of the year, and then it turns out it's like one of your movies of the decade. It's oh, was that my movie of the year? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I right, and you also I'm mentioned consistent. the Social Network too on the same episode. <laughs> there you go. That was a good yeah. year. Yeah. Yep. So that was pretty funny. Yeah. yeah. And then that, that was the lowest um, lane um, Butterface episode. Ah, that one. was. No nope. big episode. Mm-hmm. It's funny. I just pulled up a uh, Podbean, and for what we tracked on Podbean, uh, our top ten episodes. Hold on, I just had it up. Based on uh, listens. Uh, That's downloads. what I had. Based on clicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Based on clicks. And unfortunately, the, they're most. They're all old episodes, and I, I just think that was. I don't time. Know, whatever time. reason. Yeah, yeah. Over time. But um, anyone guess number one? Number one episode, no. most clicked episode. So, uh, Cliffy B's cam girl. No, that's no, not. No, that's, that's uh, Randy, Randy Pitchford. Randy Pitchford. They're all for, they're all for, I'll give you a hint. They're all for 2013. Okay. Uh, I, I think. Do. We, we've well, mentioned a couple funny. of these already on the on this episode. Hmm. Hmm. All right, I'll give you a hint. Zombies uh, was one of them. Okay. What? Zombies yeah. was one of them? Wow. Zombies was one of them. Yep. We gotta bring uh, it back. Gotta bring back the zombies. Yep. Oh, one was, uh, zombies were hot back then. I'm not yep. sure about now. Yep. Another yeah. one was the Xbox One revealed. Another okay. one was uh, wow. Lana Lang saves the world. Oh. Yeah. That Another was one bad. was Mole Girl. Oh, Mole Girl. <laughs> one was uh, Death in the Future of PlayStation. Uh, I, I I forget what, why we called it this one, but I remember this one being a good episode. I have to I'll have to listen to it again. But it was number 127, not to be a dick, dot, dot, dot. I specifically remember, I think that was a very was, good episode. Yeah, I was reading huh. about that. What I don't know what we talked I didn't hear that one, but I, I was just reading about that a little bit ago. And I'm like, I'm trying to remember what the hell we talked about in that yeah, episode. Yeah, yeah I'll, have to, um, I'll have to listen to that. Um, yeah. 10 was, they don't make movies without sequels. Number 123, I don't even know what we were talking about. It was Continuous Loop. Maybe Looper. Maybe that was when I watched Looper. I remember oh, talking okay, about that. Yep. Uh, number two was no, no good news is dot 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 bad news, <laughs> and the number one with a clear margin of like over five percent over number two is number one fifty two rating your systems. Oh. So rating, yeah. interesting. Rating, I think yeah. we like rated wow. them as far oh, as like yeah. what we thought of them. So that was right before. It was after all the announcements and before they actually came out. The mm. PS4 yeah, that's why I explained my rating system of a seven is a good game. <laughs> Not great, but a good game. What did you just give an A2 recently? It was that was like last week or something? That seemed like the opposite of that system. No, it yeah, well, you had there, there's always exceptions to the norm, but for the most part, a seven is a good, good game or or movie. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a good review. I stand it by. It should that. be. It should be a good review. It should. Uh, be. I just I just see it as a seven. You don't need to get back into this. <laughs> And 70% in, in school was plenty good enough C- to get minus. It's passing. It's passing. I, I, I do remember over the years, some of the things we've argued about are definitely ratings. Because, Jim, I know your thing is like, a, no, no game or movie can get a 10 because nothing's ever perfect. And I always remember, that doesn't mean it's perfect. That just means it's the highest rating you could possibly give something. Um, I remember uh, multiple times we discussed why Rotten Tomatoes is a thing with Mike. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, what, what else? Something else. Like... On the, those lines that like we always argue about, and we always have to like be like, all right, we, we talked about this to death, but um, we, I remember we, we had to create safe words on occasion. Yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you guys got on me for the downward trending for like five years, and <laughs> but here's the thing: we'll go to one of my uh, 
one of my memories, it was good and bad, was I had two, I had two bets going into Civil War. Because oh, one yeah, was, both of those, I and I won both of them, but I, and I should have hung on the rim. I didn't though, because I was so drained by for defending myself for like a year. But I didn't do it. So the the two bets were that were the screen time for Spider Man being under fifteen minutes, which mm-hmm. he might have been like within like you know movie time for fifteen minutes, and that its opening weekend would be less than uh, Age of Ultron, which. It made sense to me, but you guys were like, it doesn't matter. They're just, this is like Avengers 3. Yeah, you know? you guys yeah. were, it turns out the Avengers name does matter a little bit. Mm-hmm. A little bit. It wasn't that far off, but it yeah, was. It was, uh, it, so it was. That was the bet. That was, that was of, it. Yeah. And, and that, that also kind of ruined betting for me. I'm like, I don't want to die. Because I, I didn't enjoy <laughs> the movie that much. Because I just like finding myself rooting against it, even though I like <laughs> It, like, while yeah. I was watching. It's like yeah. fantasy well, football, actually, you know? It's like, yeah, I, I, I don't want my team to lose, but I don't want to lose my right. fantasy. <laughs> right. It's like, it's like, because like, I remember, like, Jim, like, the long, like long-term bet we had was the whole, um, okay. were Agents oh, yeah. Shield ever going to show up in Avengers 3? Uh, and then when they split it off to four, I made the, I was like, whoa, whoa, hold on. Originally, when the bet was made, was, like, the story for Avengers 3. So since, the, you know, it breaks two movies. Um, but bets, I remember two things that, Instantly spring out to mind was Corey. I forget what bet I won with you, but when I made you play Aliens Colonial Marines. Oh, that was. I think it's the one only time we've ever played a game, and after that, we're like, yeah, maybe that's too, too much. Too long, yeah. It took me a little time. I, no, I played the Burger King game for somebody, and I don't know what bet I lost. King. Yeah, that Sneak King game. That was garbage. Oh, shit. oh yeah. Well, I mean, that's not the same thing as beating a whole game like that. No, that's that, true. It was no, shorter. That's like that. a half an hour of your time. Like, yeah. Colonial Marines yeah. was like 12 hours or something. Yeah. But, uh, Do you remember the bet that we had? don't that? remember what that bet was. That's what I'm trying to think about, too. I'm trying to remember. But I know, like, because um, we do... Uh, I went back and listened to, like, 100, 200, 300, 400. And we talk about... Like, we do go back and, like, reminisce and stuff. And one of them was, like, oh, our favorite bets and... And things like that. And I know you mentioned, Tony, that you were so happy that you got all three of us to watch Alone in the Dark. Oh, yeah, that was my that was like other well, memory. I, I, still, yep. I still have, even in now in retrospect, I still have more of a dispute for that than. Oh, the that, Mario thing? Yeah, oh, come on, dude. Come on. Three World, three world <laughs> as a mainline Mario title. Since we've had like a real one since then, it seems even less mainline to me, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, bets, uh, yeah, I, I think weird. the bets are fun, and you know, I, I enjoy them still. Just as long as they're just for, for shits and giggles, and not necessarily. Yeah, you know, like yeah, they, yeah you know. they really are now. Yeah, I mean, we put some riders on some. What, right. Hold on, we have some things. Uh... I know I'm I'm winning this X Men bet, Jim. I know I'm winning. Yeah, this you one. are. Oh, I know. Phoenix and New Mutants are both coming out. So. Yeah, you got me. Yeah. Exactly. So. Yeah. Um, Mike. Hey, I won the Supergirl one. Yeah, you did. I like called that like yeah. from oh, the start. Yep. Wow, we yeah. have a couple. I'm uh, taking yeah, a she was on. I, I, oh, I forgot now that she was on a different uh, network yeah, at first. Yep. She was on CBS have a at first. on the Discord channel. I don't know if we ever like. We haven't posted in two years in that channel, so. Um, yeah. Really? We might have to be go back. So, yeah, one of the the very last one was Corey versus Jim on November 2018. No current JL member slash actor will appear together in a movie. Jim says they won't. The one before that was me and you, Jim, where we bet uh, Rock, uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 will be in the top 20 MPD for at that least two months. That was, that was damn so close. close. One, one month. Damn one close. month. Uh, uh, I almost had that one. Corey yeah. versus, yeah, in August of 2018, Corey versus Jim. Jim says Dark Phoenix and New Mutants will never be released. Corey says no. <laughs> We're still waiting. <laughs> Mike well, versus Aiden coming. Christensen will, will appear in episode 9. Mike says no. You won that one, Mike. Kind of. Yeah, Te- close. Yeah. It was closer Te- than it should have been, but yeah. Voice. Yeah. 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 There's a voice in there, but. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, let's yeah. get, um, We're still what? doing this. Uh, May, May, we still haven't had mutants or Final Fantasy. Uh, Final Fantasy. Or Fantastic Four um, characters in the MCU yet. No, not yet. No. We do have a bet, Tony. You say mutants, I say Fantastic Four. Mm hmm. That's from May 2nd of 2018. That's an, These are some old bets, man. Jesus. Yeah, no, no. We have to get new ones. Yeah. I, I'm sure we made new ones. I we, we've said other things, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. I know the Persona right. bet We is not on there. Like, yeah, mind. and I know I have a Mass Effect and then, bet. And you, and, um, and you and the... We all doubled, it, down. We doubled that one, didn't we? 
Can we all double bet that? I oh, think yeah. that's expiring this year too, by the way, because I think this, we pushed it, it out to 2020 we, or something. We like said that. Well, we same need, we need as, an, uh, around, Persona, an announcement right? of of a was it an, an announcement of a new Mass Effect game? Was I that what it was? Because I think it was right after it dropped a bomb, so I have to go back to 2017 and see and see if we can. The other bet you guys have was Metroid and. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah cool. we're still waiting. We're still waiting on that. <laughs> it's been over I three have, years, and a victor I, has I still have my not. Year, I did have my yearly post, I think, earlier, like two months ago, where I to, to Tony, I said I still got a shot. I, I remember saying that like two months ago. We'll have a yep. equal shot right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good. Uh, good. We're in a world where Final Fantasy VII remake is available to play with right now. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. Like, yeah, yeah. We're, yeah. Talk, we're talking about that forever. So let's yep. see. Uh, one of the other things I wanted to talk about real quick was things that have happened in this decade. Uh, yeah. So for these, all right. Since we've started podcasting. Yeah. So since we started podcasting, these are the things that have come and some have gone and, and ended or fizzled out. Uh, so one of them was Walking Dead. Nope. <laughs> technically, it's on. still going. But... It's technically, it's still nope. going, but you know, it, but it it's literally more dead, dead than walking. It, 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 right. it is the Walking Dead right now. Yes. Well, I think we even made a joke about it one episode. Yeah, we have. Oh, we've dead done or something that like jerks that. Yeah. several times. Yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but uh, I mean, that pr- premiered in 2010. Uh, still ongoing. Uh, and you know, uh, I will have to give it props for you know, I think that helped push like. I don't know, geeked them into like popular culture in terms of like, hey, you know, we could be in a nerdy comic book stuff and it's okay. Like, you know, before then it was like, ew, like nerds. Um, so uh, I, I think that's a little less. I'm going to give the MCU more credit for that. Oh, in this well, yeah, case, but, I mean, but. yeah. I mean, it's it's definitely not as colorful and stuff like that. But I mean, I would still put it in terms of like, it drove people to, I think, the graphic novel uh, to some I, kind. I, of. I think it was surprising just how mainstream something that's visually kind of disgusting yeah. could get <laughs> oh yeah yeah um but uh game of thrones debuted on oh HBO. yeah game of thrones yeah. uh we have seen the and, rise and fall of that <laughs> and we've not gotten a new book <laughs> we have not gotten a new book so thanks uh george r, r. martin for that we, yeah thank uh, you we appreciate that i so gotta rewrite the whole book now oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah um let's see what else um the rise of marvel Basically, uh, yeah, that was the, the whole thing beginnings of an Iron Man uh, to uh, highest grossing, you know, movie yeah. all time. Like said, we, we were we were talking a lot about how is Avengers going to work in the early episodes. Yeah, that's For crazy. Sure. I, mean, I believe I, then, yeah. I probably went on record saying it didn't wasn't going to work. I didn't believe it was going to work. So I, I'm almost certain I remember I was not on the fence. Like I was not in the camp of this is going to be awesome. Yeah, well, I mean, back then it was. Nobody had ever like really attempted that. Like you had like, tri- like you had trilogies at most, and like I think at best it was like maybe like some stuff with Alien versus Predator. That was the most interconnected movies ever got. I think <laughs> prior to that. Yeah, I mean, I remember like I was the one like with experience with Joss Whedon, and I was just like, well, like I, I this guy's done some good stuff. Like I know some stuff he's done, but you know. Well, we watched. Maybe... Corey and I were watching. I think Corey and I were watching Dollhouse at that point in time too. Oh yeah, Dollhouse. Yeah, Dollhouse. Seen Firefly that... before that as well. well we had seen Doll... Firefly. Did Dollhouse have two seasons? Uh, yes. Yeah, I liked Dollhouse. I liked that show. I thought it had good promise, but they never really. Season two was weak. That's what happened. It really. I mean, one was borderline not going to make it, and then season two just was like not great. Um, sort of he's sort of linked to thing is getting like ruined a little bit too as much as he's like, he's successful things ruin it's one of those things where i think joss is like he's he's great for a you know like a one thing yeah. he's a you know he's a one pump chunk vendors yeah, oh, yeah. one Avengers is good second Avengers, not so good um you know so on and so forth but um some other things um disney acquires the world uh you know in this decade yeah. disney covered both marvel holy shit and and um, Lucas Arts. Uh, Lucas Arts. Lucas Arts and Fox. Yeah, and Fox, Fox recently. Fox. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, they, yeah, the you house talk about Disney buys everything. Yeah. yeah more like the mansion of mouse. You know. Um, this decade we also saw uh, China becoming a box office powerhouse, where uh, filmmakers would clearly put in like segments catered oh, yeah. uh, and even shot in China just to get you know um, either money or tax credits or whatever yeah. it was that they're getting a, a big mm-hmm. cut stuff like that um the rise of netflix uh netflix didn't start streaming until uh with original until 2013 with house of cards there's we have to have an episode they of had them streaming dropping, 
option, but they didn't have any originals until 2015. Right. But right. when we started this, it was it was the DVD was the primary Netflix. It was like you would get yep. the DVDs delivered to your house. Believe it or not, that's how Netflix started. Those who don't know. Dude, uh, I listened to I was listening to old podcasts, obviously, um, just for nostalgia and to talk about stuff. And there was an episode where we talk about the blockbuster streaming service <laughs> and how uh, you were like. Really? Yeah, and like, and I think Jim, you said um, they went blockbuster, and then it was like, oh yeah, that's just a synonym now for going bankrupt because because they, <laughs> they just were awful. And apparently, oh. like, uh, Netflix was um, they or blockbuster had the option to buy Netflix for fifty million. Yeah, Netflix so. wanted to, to sell to the blockbuster. Blockbuster yeah. said, no, we else. can do this better, and they yeah, they didn't. <laughs> Spoiler alert, they didn't. <laughs> wow, hindsight, you know. Yeah, so, so we saw that. Uh, how many of you remember um, the time that Instagram started in 2011? Yep, by Instagram things. started. Uh, how many of you remember when uh, North Korea hacked Sony? Oh yeah, I I remember the PS2 network, the PSN network uh, hack. Yeah, it wasn't PSN. PS, network. PSN. Oh my God, that was crazy. Yeah, like yeah, you got free games out of that. Remember that? Like, like it was down was for a huge months. Deal. Was it, it down was, for yeah. months? No, yeah, everyone they were afraid they didn't release uh, the interview uh, theatrically because of it. They thought. It'd be a big thing, but in reality, they just sort of paid some like third-party punks to actually hack them. They didn't do it themselves, but it was still an interesting time for. Uh, yeah, I mean, all those emails that got released. I mean, I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that's how we even got uh, Spider-Man back into the MCU. Is uh, you know, because that was around the time that uh, Amazing Spider-Man was not doing too too hot, stuff like that. Yeah, so. We had to deal with those. We've dealt with. Uh, Two Spider Man in this time. The third movie, the third Raimi movie, was done by an event, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, what is it? 20, 2009? Yeah, I think it was done by. It, it, I guess it was fresh, but done at that point. Mm. <clears throat> I mean, we were talking about how it was really early to do a reboot of Spider Man. Yeah. Like they waited, like they didn't wait long enough and stuff. <clears throat> mm. There's a lot. I mean, I was looking at that article you linked, and it's like. You know, you have uh, movie passes in here. Uh, that's terrible. Oh, change of the game, you know, for a little while. Yeah, I mean, you got, well, AMC, but you know, AMC is going to, they're close to folding right now. They, yeah, they but I don't, blame, I don't really that's, blame that's that on their own. That. Yeah. Well, that's no. definitely more COVID than movie pass. Yeah, uh, yeah movie pass. Now. Amazon Studios. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they have their own original programming thanks to Netflix. You know, that ties into now, it. Now it's everyone else streaming as well. Yeah, it's a streaming wars. I mean, that's what they call it on here. Uh, you have everybody. It, you remember like the cutting out of the cable, and now it's like everybody has their own app. Uh, everybody's got their own service, so um, which is fine. I mean, it's piecemeal. We were talking about wanting that. That's what we wanted. Um, I you uh, got, uh, wanted. I say that it's we're we're getting close now to it's going to be comparable price to have similar things. No, but it's not. We'll Why would you ever subscribe to every single thing that's out? Because everything is, it's going to be like, oh, well, I want to see that, but not this. It's going to be, there'll be one killer show on each channel, like it, there used to be. And you'll, you'll need to get like, you know, 12 different streaming services to get everything you'd like. It's, it, we're on our way. It's going to, it's going to equal fine. out. That's it's fine. Gonna, I'll I order know, I what I want. That's a, that, that, I mean, there we go. That was another thing we've always argued about recently. It was, <laughs> you know, the, you know, this is what. I want because I can pick and choose which one I want to have exactly in each like, period of time. You know times... I've definitely always been like, I definitely want to have the option to pick what I want, choose when I want to like watch it or not watch it. It's like you look at cables, a hundred dollars a month, whatever, for a thousand channels that you don't care about. Plus, you don't exactly. get to pick and choose when you want to watch things on streaming services. You can like, oh, I want to watch this now. I want to watch that now. With DVRs, you can, but. <laughs> that's more work for you. This, that's give me less the, work that, than that turning on and off a bunch of subscriptions depending on what you're interested in. <laughs> it's more work. I'm just saying, we it's Americans work, are lazy. But it's, I'm, do you know how many times I've like subscribed and unsubscribed to uh, yeah, WWE I, Network? I'm not going to do that. That's annoying. <laughs> that's uh, it's No, easier. but I mean, I left... I left like for three ninety nine a month, I left DC Universe on right now. For now, I mean it's three ninety nine a month I'm paying. So they they never ch- they never changed their rate back for me. So I'm paying three ninety nine per month. I can cancel whenever I want. Um, so I have that on right now. I'm not I haven't used it in a month, but so they got me for a month. But you know uh, Netflix I'm still in right now. Uh, but I canceled CBS All Access because I'm like I'm not going to pay them six dollars right now because I don't want to pay them six dollars. Yeah, we definitely and, argued uh, about this a bunch. 
Yeah. No, but I, uh, uh, for for the next ten years, that'll be a prediction that it'll be to the point where there's so many it's comparable to just having cable. You're gonna. It's gonna I be think funny because it's gonna, most it's just the major ones have it already. They have their own. Oh, what I was gonna say is like it's gonna in the next ten years we're gonna have some they service have yeah. that just combines them and then you basically have cable again. It's like it's just gonna repeat itself. History here. So it's like oh I'm getting annoyed by having all these. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but some other things, things that like, I like more like world events that that were interesting. I thought that um like not necessarily world events but uh impactful events that in you know pop culture like that main like uh, mayfield or mayweather pacquiao fight like we talked about that this took event. away we talked about this because <laughs> took away this from was age of your excuse for yeah. age of ultron forever yeah. that's the only reason why we talked about it yeah but it's, i don't was, I, I still don't think it was that big of a deal dude that was a dude. lot of money that was that, a lot yeah. of money but, but I, I think like, it was a lot of money we've had but there's been dude, other fights the that biggest been events big like everyone was talking about that fight like everyone. everyone was just talking about uh what's his name and the other guy <laughs> that just had a not fight really not really you couldn't no, even remember they did. uh tyson fury and uh, uh, the no, other not like not like uh, mayweather and pacquiao there's no way like they, they, those those two fighters like took home like 300 million dollars or something uh, yeah. like that. Surprise fighters too. I don't know. It's what? just like that. Like tickets are going on. Tickets were like being scalped for like three hundred thousand dollars. That's how much people were getting. Jesus. It was That's ridiculous crazy. what happened in that fight. And I know that affected the box office of that movie. It absolutely one hundred percent did. Yeah. Even even if it was like percentages, Mike, it still affected it without a doubt. Mm. Um. Yeah. And then, you know, that, 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 not that's enough just... for Civil War to beat it. We also had the. Uh, the Snowden leaks and uh, oh yeah, oh, wow, yeah, damn, that was huge, man. Like, yeah, government spying on you guys. Yeah. Duh. Yep. I mean, I was Obviously. talking in the channel today. It's been three years since the Harvey Weinstein scandal. Yeah, me too. Thing. Oh wow, that's crazy. Finally, like, hearing about like his comeuppance now, at least. Yeah, him fucking like you know using a little like Walker to portray himself as like some feeble old you know. Yeah. Grandpa figure stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean that. It's been four years. For the TV. Pokemon Go. Yeah, that took over the world, dude. I still like. I have never seen like a culture phenomenon like Pokemon Go because like I remember everybody in my office playing. Everybody like people who had never ever like talked about video games at all. They're like, you could just tell when somebody's playing it too because like the way you you have to like <laughs> spin the Pokeball and like you flick it. Like, you knew they were just playing Pokemon. I'm like, what is going on? Like, because at my work, we had two stops. And so you could just easily rack up, like, uh, items and stuff like that. And it was always be crowded around. I'm like, what is this right now? What is this? Dude, some of the videos online, just people, like, trampling Swarming, each other. To yeah. Just, like, for that, get to uh, that Charizard. That part, yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. Central Park, yeah. Yeah. It was, it's, I mean, it was, like, the summer, too. It was, like, the summer of Pokemon Go. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when Jimmy was... said it was a fad? <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm, well, it, it it was to an extent, to that extent, to, to, that, to level, that degree, but it's still held up. Actually, I forgot they even posted it in last week's news, but uh, this past year was uh, the highest grossing year of Pokemon Go, even mm. outshining uh, a, the debut year. Wow. So, hmm. still got on strong. Still got on strong. High priced stuff in there now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, what else have we seen? So we saw the whole. Um, let's see. We've seen switching more to the video game side. I yeah. Think. Yeah. Obviously, we saw three DS come and go. Do we DS remember? Do we remember the rumors about what Switch was before it was out when we thought it was two consoles? Yeah, yeah, like a tablet, you know, to take or like, whatever, like a handheld device that went with you. We Stuff like yeah. that. You and yeah. how like we were like oh, concerned well, yeah, the, about battery the, life of that controller. The Wii, yeah. U, the Wii U came and went. The Wii U came and went during this. Um, Quietly. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was. There was Those a were few, Nintendo years. Yeah. It, yeah. The problem, and, and I don't know, the system itself wasn't particularly. I, re- I remember podcasting. Just, I remember podcasting about that announcement and saying, like, and saying, like, I don't know if this is a controller or a new system. I don't get it. Yeah, that, well, like, that, that I remember having that. That was a terrible like camp. Like that. Okay, so that's the thing. It's like if you go back and look at that video, like we were right, Jim, because like first of all, they just show. Like the controller, I don't think it had the Wii U branding at, at first on the controller itself. I think it might have just said Wii. So it's like, is this an accessory for the Wii? Like, I, I don't understand. It's like, it and then so they use like, the, like, yeah. like the golf game. So it's like, 
is this Wii Sports Golf? Like, what? what is yeah. this? Yeah. Um, so it was, like, just really, really, really confusing. Um, they, they just blundered that marketing campaign. Yeah. And, that, and, you know... It was meant to be the HD, like, introduction of Nintendo, too. Yeah. Um, but, you know, as we said again, like, the, the messaging at the beginning is so important. Like, if you compare, like, the debut Wii video... Or, I'm sorry, debut Wii U video to the Switch video, it's, like, night and day. Like, oh, Switch yeah. is like, yeah. here you go. Here's the games. Here's what it's about. Here's what it can do. Like, every gimmick or every marketing angle is covered in that video. And you're like, okay. You can even play on the rooftop and, like, have a party. Hey, you even have a party with Karen on a rooftop. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and it's it's funny to me because uh, I think the Wii U is a better system, like as far as a system goes. But it just it no one understood what it was. No, it was just it was just one of those things that like uh, kind of like the Dreamcast it just got stuck in between like um, the hype for PS4 and, and Xbox One because it launched like just a little bit too early and just didn't have that. That's I mean, the launch lineup was just like well, it's all just like remakes of games that were already out too. Yeah. So, but, like, what's interesting is, like, we all really, like, hated on the name, but, like, looking at it, like, the PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, like, the only thing that's changed is the number. And then, like, Xbox, 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 you know, 360, Xbox One, like, the only thing that changes is, like, the number. It's like, yeah. And we all hate yeah. on Wii U for being just changing the one thing I, at the I'm end. I'm critical of the Xbox. No, well, the Xbox no, I, no, I'm not saying the about the Wii no, U I'm not saying they're bad that. names. They're not, not, not bad names. I'm well, just saying, like, no one, they no were successful, like, but... The, despite their name, like the name wasn't the problem. It was the messaging of what this it was. It was the problem. advertising. Like a like little, Tony said, it but... was the reveal. I think a lot of it was lost in the reveal. You can't get people it's like it's your first best foot forward and this is what you do. Like we had that with Xbox One. We, you know we we it, it all banks. I just remember on like the first title being like Mass Effect and Arkham Knight or Arkham City. Oh, Arkham Knight. Arkham City. It's like it's, it's not like, the same game. It's not the same concept. Or Arkham Asylum. Yeah. I don't even know which one it was. Like it was just it like was they Ar- were. It was Arkham City, City I think. City, uh, City. City. Armored Edition. That's <laughs> right. right. Yeah. It's like. What? But no, no. To me, uh, I think the name is a big part of it because it's not like every Nintendo system before was called the Wii. Uh, the Wii was the first one, so you yeah, say the Wii U. Yeah. They should the Wii, remember the Wii brought in a lot of non gamers to be see, I, play it. And I like, think oh another Wii thing, but not what? So that see, was I the think problem. here's the problem. And I, I think this is what was solved by the Switch. Um, the problem with the Wii U was it's in a market based on X, Xbox and and PlayStation. Uh, and the Switch is not in that same market. It's on its own market because it's a different device. It's meant to be like portable slash home. Yeah. And so when they brought out the Wii U and it had like Mass Effect and it had Ar- Arkham City, you're like, oh, this is Nintendo trying to go in HD. But I'm like, but it's behind everybody else. Literally, at that point, you, you can say the same about Switch right now, but Switch can sell you on the fact that I can take that game on the go. Yeah. yeah. yeah exactly. And that's what the Switch is more successful. Right. Like going, just going the tablet also things. didn't quite bring enough. Yeah. Um, yeah. The technology was as far as yeah. um, like the thing specifically was I remember like they made a big deal because EA ported Mass Effect three to to Wii U for the mm-hmm. launch, but you didn't have like one and two and like literally before that even debuted, EA was like, hey, Mass Effect Collection uh, for sixty bucks. So it's like you're asking yeah. Wii U owners yeah. to buy just one game for the same price as three. Like it was just, it was just bad um all around and stuff like that and not to mention there's the delays like i mean everything i played because i remember even being mad because i was like i'm getting yeah. it for mario pikmin and i forget what the other game was but it, they were just That's all delayed right. significantly yeah. like that first year was right. terrible yeah. like i think i didn't buy a game until pikmin that year the, the following year like in august or whatever it was it was just terrible um so just not a good time to be a nintendo fan but you know what Wii U failed, so Switch could succeed. I think they learned all the valuable lessons they needed to, and uh, you know, I don't well, think we would have did. Though. Like that's the thing is, they could have totally went the other way and not yeah. like have learned, which is you know what. Yeah. I mean, we definitely seen we definitely seen the rise in mobile gaming. Um, <clears throat> oh yeah. Uh, we, I mean, I mean that it, amazing what they put in these phones now that you can have on your hands. Like it's, yeah. I mean, you play Coder, Night Night of the Republic on you know on your phone. Yeah, uh, I mean, you can play which, Call of Duty and Fortnite, like, and not oh, even, like, yeah, strong, sure. like, gimp to ver- like, like, full versions. You just, you know, if you don't have a controller yeah, well, and you're a kid, you're lots probably of, Lots of PUBG players are, like, yeah. exclusively on Yeah. There. We saw the rise of uh, MOBA games. We've seen the fall oh, of MMOs. VR. VR. We saw VR. PUBG. 
uh, by, you know, we have a battle yeah, game. The, yeah. The, yeah, the whole, um, battle you know, Royale, uh, yep. battle, battle Royale, Royale mode. Is it, is it a, is it a, is it a, a, mo- a multiplayer mode or is it, you know, a genre? Is it a genre? Like, yeah. yeah. Is it a genre? Or is it, a, was, yeah. it seems like it's a genre now. Yeah. Um, yeah. but oh, yeah, that, that reminds me too. The whole looter shooter concept was introduced and still trying to be perfected, I think, but. It's yeah, no, definitely here. Borderlands, yeah, definitely forefront of that. Borderlands, and Destiny. Destiny, and yeah, stuff like Destiny, that. Yep. Um, I mean, oh, God, we would be remiss if we didn't mention Minecraft. I mean, yep. technically the alpha was in 2008 or nine or something like that, so but yeah, it officially yeah. launched, I think, 2010. Yeah, I remember bringing Ryan on here to talk about it before anyone even knew what it was. <laughs> uh, yeah, he got into that early, very early. That's right. He was way – I remember bringing him on the episode, yeah. yeah. Um. So um, we used to record here, like at my house, actually. Um, I remember that. And so he would come over and we would actually have the recording. I remember that. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. There was a, there's a lot of transitions also just for this. We used to never do this on Skype. Uh, we used to yep. do, like, different recordings. We've, we've uh, changed platforms over time. Two, uh, episode still, 200 was the first time we were on camera, I believe. Yes. Yeah, yeah I think that's right. Now on, I think we even call it, like, now on video or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah, I did that at... Uh, my Somerset apartment. Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah, I remember that. that. Not to put us on the spot, but we do try to always bring in something new every 100 episodes. I don't think it's happening anymore here, guys, just so you all know. But we've, I, yeah, we, I mean, we've we've always, like... COVID, tried, man, like, COVID. Right. Yeah. Well, first of all, COVID, you know, we, we had planned, you know, because obviously, you know, we talked about this months in advance because we know it's coming. But COVID really threw a wrench in our plan. So we'll try to make it up if, thing, if slash when I'll things start getting better. I think, but we'll, like, we'll do some Saturday, online things. Yeah. This Play Saturday, I would like to stream... A little Halo. We were talking about that, and I have, by the way, for those wondering, I now own. This is what happened last weekend. I don't have GTA 5, Shit. but now I do. Uh, oh, I bought boy. GTA 5. I really tribute I, to that. That I'm uh, so sorry NPD that is. I couldn't play it. Yeah, I'm so sorry that I couldn't play it today. I I wanted to play it for this episode because I was like, how better to kick off this episode than say I have played Grand Theft Auto 5 and episode 500. Um, but I couldn't play it with work. It was just I did. I'm still working. I'll be working when we're done with this, but. Um, it's just nuts at work, so I couldn't play it today. And uh, I, but I bought it; it was on sale. Massive, they have a massive sale on Xbox right now. So I got, I had fifteen dollars in credit on my console. Thank you, thank you, to, thank you, Bing. Um, and so I got, I didn't have to pay for Grand Theft Auto, but I did purchase it. So I am one of those people next month that I can yell at. Um, so, yeah, but. I do own it now. There's a lot of good stuff on sale there. Like there's a lot of Assassin's Creed games, like the entire slate. I, I really, really thought about getting um, Origins because I heard Origins was really good. And it's it's like uh, eight bucks. Like I'm like, why would I get this? Pe- pe- uh, people seem to like Origins uh, a lot. Odyssey, I think, is similar. I preferred Odyssey, but m- it seems like most people might prefer Origins between the two. They're very similar mm-hmm. games, though. They said that Origins had a better story. Origins had a bleaker story. <laughs> hmm. Has a museum mode, so. Oh, and yeah, think, you have that. I think I think they both do now. But, oh, okay. Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's interesting though, because uh, to go back and listen to some of the ish, uh, podcasts and you know some of those centennial ones at least, and we do talk about some of our favorite uh, movies and. Uh, video games even we talked about board games and comics back on episode 300 i think it was oh yeah yeah and uh did hear what we a, thought back then was a good one. And, and it's like wow this is like really still still aligns still like makes sense for us now but uh there's some like i'm really into board games now like i, I that's like i prefer playing board games like since you know past couple of years i've been pretty heavy into the board game scene at least uh and to go back and listen to that 300th episode and talk about board games and how our favorite board games are like Cranium and <laughs> Cranium Pop oh. <laughs> and Catan. Well, Cranium like, Pop is amazing. It, it is. Cranium Pop yeah, is so absolutely. Great. I stand like, by that. There's yes. so much out there. Like, well, that's, that's a party game. It's just like, that's more of a party yeah. game. You know, it's like, yeah. sure. but like, it's, it's like, card, modern it's like board cards games. before cards. It's yeah. interesting to hear, like, Tony, you talk about how like Catan is like an all time great modern like board game. And just like <laughs> people hate that game now. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, it's one of those things that, like, you know, it's exci- It's hard to get excited over Catan. But that's what you it know, was back then. That, back that, that, back that, then, that it was time, definitely. You know, it was like people didn't know what modern board gaming could be like, you know. And so you had this game that just kind of made it more interesting. Like, it wasn't just Monopoly. It wasn't just, you know, Risk and stuff. So you had a game that was more interesting. And so that just blew up on that scene. And 
Um, obviously, you guys talked about Last Night on Earth and stuff like that. But yeah, yeah, it's just interesting to hear those. And um, which I still I think love that your game. favorite. Like, I think a lot of our favorite, like Spider Man Two, was like all of our favorite movie, like one of our top three favorite movies mm-hmm. at the yeah. time. For a long time, it was, you know. Yeah, I, absolutely. Um, it's a great movie. It was on TV the other day. I was like, I watched it still. I'm like, yeah, I still like the story. I really like it. Mm-hmm. There's, yeah, there's a lot of campiness you don't really remember, but mm-hmm. uh, until you go back to it. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't know. I really still like that but movie I mean, quite a bit. One of the that solidified like the video, I the, love the superhero movie yeah, being something that's like such a, see, again, legitimate. How many times? How many? How many times over 500 episodes have I said the villain makes a movie? Like I've yeah. said it how many times? That had Doc Ock. Uh, Alfred Molina. That is like you know. your go-to, like one of like one of your go-tos <laughs> is that, and I think Die Hard maybe was one you mentioned a lot. Where like it's all about the villain. Like without the villain, it wouldn't be anything. Without the villain, it's not a great movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, I stand by that. Like there's always like that. I mean, mm-hmm. that, you know, Absolutely. brilliant but lazy. I love I love the line from you know a Doc Ock in that movie. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know Parker, brilliant but lazy, and he laughs as he's you know. Uh, I love that at the end of the movie. It, it's so like there's so many great things, and then like. That's why I mean that's why I always liked Magneto so much. Like I think he's such a great villain slash well, can be yeah. a hero. It's all, like, you have to have villains that are relatable, like that relatable. you could yeah yeah you could understand where they're coming from. And that's actually why I think like Jack makes such a great video game villain. It's yeah, like, Handsome yeah. Jack is someone that not necessarily you want to like you can relate to so much on a like on his like world domination goals but just as like you want to be friends with the guy like he's so yeah the guy's so cool i want to know him yeah <laughs> uh no i mean there's like that a lot you, like i need to be able to like say okay i understand what this villain's trying to do don't agree with it but I, I understand it you know what i mean like there's always that that fallen villain kind of thing you want to you, you know there's always for every hero there's the opposite of him like the the fallen guy who didn't get that same path you know like the vulture in the spider-man far uh spider-man homecoming I mean, what's one um, of the reasons Batman's such a great hero, too, is his rogue, rogues gallery is so good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Represents a bunch of mental disorders, pretty much. So, yeah. Um, uh, I mean, we have to, I mean, we have to mention Stranger Things spoiler cast. Oh, yeah, we didn't mention Barb. We were saying oh, yeah, Barb, are, best for those... last. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not, it's not and, last, but... I mean, to, to this I, I, day, Corey still defends Barb and how she didn't have enough. No, no, uh, no, this is the thing. We have no idea what exactly <laughs> this... What what we don't what even really I know. This, we don't. I, I know, this. but we don't know what the stances really were. There there weren't really no any real Corey stances. Says, no the only what... stance was that Corey was sick of hearing about Barb, but no, he was. Corey wanted more Barb. Corey wanted more Barb. I was Barb. saying, like, I, I specifically was, I was talking about how Barb and Slipknot were like essentially the same character because the purpose of their <laughs> of them being in the movie or the show was just stupid. <laughs> See, I, at, the, at this point, Barb had become a, a bit of a meme already. I don't know how, and Corey was sick of her shit, pretty much. Corey, Corey brought her up <laughs> numerous times in that podcast to the point of all of a sudden, like, boy, we, Corey, what is we the thing with Barb? Was that the was this a spoiler cast? It was a spoiler was, cast. Yeah, spoiler. and this was, was the one the, when I was actually. This was Stranger Things season one spoiler cast for this. Yeah. I have a clip of it that I this would is, like to share with this you. This was when I was, I, I remember because I was actually in a hotel now, training for Future Before Art. this plays, before this plays. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Right, go ahead. No, oh, go I was going to say, before this place, remember this is Corey's clip. He, this could be biased. Go on. <laughs> Do not mention Barb. You just did my fucking phone. That was me. Like, I was talking about, like, Jim was giving me uh, my final thoughts, and I was like, all right, I'm going to do this. And Jim goes, don't mention Barb. I'm like, you just did my phone. I flipped I just left. <laughs> I remember you flipped your headset and just like laughed. But but what's so <laughs> funny time, about it to time. me is that literally time. nothing. If you mention her one more time, I'm cutting you off. Just just go on. <laughs> I just think that so this character, like, what I was, my whole point was each character that I liked in the show had a great moment and it really made me feel. Do not like, mention Barb. You just did my. I like how Jim threatened you first and then he brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that's a little yeah, bit so, of the whole sense of whoops. There goes my, there goes my yeah, I'm not, again. The funny thing about that was I don't know if there was a real argument at the center of that at all. The problem was yeah. that we were all on the same page, and that the way I was presenting my argument was just not syncing up with other people. I think, and <laughs> but we all just like thought that the character wasn't necessarily that significant in the end. It wasn't necessary at all. Yeah, and then the way the way Corey kept bringing her up was like, wait. 
why, why do you keep bringing up Bart? Why, why do you keep mentioning her? <laughs> I, I think I think maybe the only difference was like he weighted that more against the show as a whole than we did. Yes, like, yes, yes. Well, I mean, like, yeah, someone needs to just like you know kind of be there and die, and you know whatever. But <laughs> of course, like you know, this is a crappy part of this show, and we're like, eh, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, it's all led up now. to that because like, that was like the end of the episode too. We're doing our final thoughts and it's like yeah. that, was, that was good. It was uh, it's a definitely it's memorable a moment point. for sure. Yeah, one like, of my uh, other. I do remember. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. No, it was one of my other memorable moments was Easy Mode. And what's interesting, I went back to search for it, and we actually have two episodes called Easy Mode. Oh, what? No way. Yeah. Well, when so when the are they from? Easy. The original Easy Mode episode was the one where you were playing um, Cuphead and we're talking about uh, Cuphead and its difficulty and how like you wanted people to play this game, but it's so difficult. And yeah. um, so I that kind that, of, yeah. like I guess, spurred the, the discussion that would there. Jump me in, that would jump me into my whole, by the way, Dark Souls need to have a fucking Easy Mode thing. Yeah, yeah. that definitely uh, would. And then, and then we had that Easy Mode episode where we talk and discuss it and I remember specifically Tony was talking about how he cannot wait until uh, my kids come up to a point where they can't <laughs> play a game because it's too hard. I was like, what, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> and then I was like, oh, whatever. They're, they're going to have to learn. Like, get good, son. <laughs> I mean, well, I mean, at a certain level, like, we all went through that growing up anyway. Like, No, it's, I mean, they're, again, like, I don't think that you should – stop people from playing a game if they want to play a game because they are physically incapable like accessibility is a different thing than you know how hard a game is to play i, th I think those are two separate issues there and yeah you could have someone who's physically handicapped playing dark souls with you know like the xbox has their you know controller that's specifically <clears throat> designed for people that cannot hold a you know a more customary controller and yeah, they can still play Dark Souls. Just they may not be great at it, wow. but you know they could still yeah, do it. Had... <sighs> yeah, episode three sixty four and episode four forty one. Wow. wow. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna say this for, for as many episodes as we have, that's pretty. Over good. Yeah. Over a year between yeah. them, it was one was October fourth of twenty seventeen, and the next was April tenth of twenty nineteen. That's why we forgot that we had named one these. Yeah. yeah. Of course. I think that's really the only duplicate one I've, I've ever I come across. I think so as well. Like, like, there's definitely been ones that have been close, but to have it exactly the same. Because also we name them differently with the two separate movie and game casts and stuff now. But um, yeah, I think that having those two being exactly the same is maybe cool. the only occurrence. Uh, I just came across this wonderful article from Mike on our website. You know, not driving traffic to our website right now, but uh, I want to mention I want to mention this one: the five worst gaming snobs of this generation. Ah, uh, yes, that was that was nicely controversial. The the pro indie anti triple A snobs, the Metacritic is gospel snobs, the difficulty snobs, which that, that that's why that came up by the way on the search, uh, the tournament fighting game snob, and the last one was the PC gaming snobs. <laughs> Which are still a thing today. <laughs> all still I mean, the, 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 all fighting, still, yeah, the fighting game community. I didn't even know. I didn't know the F, FGC acronym back then. But that's what yeah. I was talking about. Because mm -hmm. that was when I was getting into Injustice at like a higher level. And then like I'm, I was just noticing that everyone's like, this game is not, it's not a real game. This bullshit. You suck. <laughs> I was like, okay, calm down, people. And, you know, that was a fun one, though. Yeah, yeah. Whew. Yeah. Uh, Speaking of else, like yeah. rare occurrences, I think maybe this is I can count the on my one on one hand how many times I've not worn a hat on this podcast. Really? <laughs> really? I think Corey so. Corey got dressed I'm up for sure. this one. Corey got dressed up for this one. I mean, I'm you know, like I said, you gotta class it up. You gotta class it up. Yeah. Yeah. Five hundred, man. Well, yeah. We made up for us. Maybe we'll uh, we'll dress up in suits and stuff and, and play. Because <laughs> that sounds. I, that's funny. That's, why, like, what that's why I put together to... this great background here. <laughs> yeah, what made me do this, though, is that um, on episode 200, our first video podcast ever, Tony's wearing a tuxedo t-shirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I remember that. The pixelated one. I still have it somewhere. <laughs> so, so I was like, oh, man, I got to uh, class it up here. He's uh, he's going to yeah. one-up me. I remember. I was, I was going to ask because we – I think that was when we played the Destiny beta, right, on the PS4. Could we played – the sports friends was that it sports friends oh yeah whatever that i know we played yeah. that because i got a trophy because i signed in i was like what okay i think we played that at um my 
Long Valley home, though. I don't think we played that in Somerset. No. Uh, I want to say we did. I thought that was the same oh, day. Did we do like a, maybe we did like a, you know, a sequel to it in Long Valley. Uh, I don't know. I hard to remember. It's been a while. But what was that game called? The really Sports game. Friends, right? Well, Sports not Sports Friends. Friends. The, one, the one game within oh, the Jousting. Game. Jousting? Joust, right? yeah. What was it? it wasn't Joust, because Joust is actually... Oh, was... But it was jousting. jousting. That was the idea. It was yeah. joust. It was, it was like pole vaulting. Yeah. Like, um, pole was, riders. Pole riders. Yeah, pole riders. yeah that's pole. what it was called. <laughs> oh, man. Such a goofy game. Um, let's see. That was remember. that was early PS4 where there was hardly anything to play on the system. Oh, yeah, we're like, yeah. One of, it's like, okay, I guess we'll all play Sports Friends because <laughs> that's the game. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. 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 Um, Yep. Let's oh. see. Uh, ever since we started wow. doing video, I know we've been uploading to YouTube. And uh, so for listeners, if you made it to this point, obviously we have a little bit of an issue with, uh, I don't know, reach on our YouTube channel. So go ahead and uh, subscribe if you haven't. But I uh, just yeah. wanted to go over yeah. a couple of our most popular um, videos, yeah. uploads. Uh, so the first two are just uploads I did from like recordings at PAX. So I'm not going to count those. Uh, but our number one most watched episode is number 381 with it's a tide commercial <laughs> that was that super bowl week where wow. yep, it, was yep. a, it was a tide commercial uh and Corey, you did a great job because you took the uh minions dressed up as uh mario characters and then had the tide logo background stuff like that oh nice that was number one I don't uh that. I don't remember yeah. <laughs> yeah number two was uh the spider-man home kong uh spoiler cast number two uh, number okay. three yeah. was Since... Randy Pitchford and the Cam Girl Magician when he got into hot go. water for a <laughs> yeah. Um yeah. Yeah. Let's see. The third one is uh, All Can Geek Boner Final number 34. Uh, I assume it's Game of Thrones because it's uh, Jon Snow plowing Daenerys uh, oh. as the thumbnail. Yeah. Uh, the, that, next, yeah. Yep, the next one is All Can Geek uh, episode number 200, now in video. Uh, it's the first time we had okay. video. Uh, and then after that was uh, Baby Groot is equal to Jar Jar Binks. And then hmm. after that, Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse bonus round, spoiler cast. Oh, okay. So, yeah. It's a, oh, it's a Tide commercial. Where did, like, that? I don't get, I still don't get why that's the most. I think like, people wanted people to actually probably just Google search it. for that for yeah. the actual commercial clicked on us accident. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's my we got We got the clicks. We got the clicks for that one. That's all that matters. Mm-hmm. Yep, that is. That's funny. Huh. What episode was 380 something? 380. Oh, I see it now. Number 381, yeah. <laughs> Were they in it? I don't even remember what this commercial was. <laughs> Why did we have uh, them on the cover? They had that. Was they that had a just... bunch of commercials during the Super Bowl where it started one way and then they're just like, oh, it's a tie commercial. <laughs> I think that, we um... had the minions. That was that when they first announced the Nintendo deal with the. I was uh... gonna say, is that like the? Because that, that, that's the studio that's doing it. So. Ubisoft, yeah. Oh, oh no, no, is that the, imagine, oh, the movie? Ma- yeah, imagination or whatever. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, and is like that it. the Stranger Guys thing there? The guy? The Stranger, Stranger guy. guy? Stranger Guys. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah, it's yeah, Stranger, yeah. Stranger, Stranger Guys. Guy. <laughs> 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 I remember one of our good episode titles, the Stranger Hand Things, for whatever it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, we got oh, What's some of our, like, that's a good um question there. It's like, what are some, some of our favorite titles? 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 Oh, man, I don't remember any of them. I know. Like, we've I like to... the. We've had some like, good ones. Yeah, I like the um, when uh, YouTube got a uh, Cobra Kai. We said uh, the new next next Karate Kid. <laughs> I, I like that one a lot. Um, nice. yeah, nostalgia yeah. makes me feel good. That was another good one. Um, I'm trying to like think see. back to some. Let me flip through here. Yeah. Joss, do it. <laughs> when when Joss Whedon got on uh, Justice League. That's pretty good. Uh, Actually, like just more recently, I like the one we just did. Um, that's uh, what was the Destiny one? Um, shit, I can't even remember. Halo Destiny. Destiny. Yeah, Halo Destiny. Destiny. Yeah. That was actually a pretty good one, I thought, for uh, being, you know, multi-layered, meta, yes. very meta there. <laughs> cunning, cunning linguini. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh god, that, that, that was that didn't, that didn't work <laughs> as well as we hoped it would, I think, but yeah. Uh... Uh, let's see. There's a, I mean, there's some older ones. I'm trying to flip back, but um, trying yeah, not to miss anything. Flip, flip Again was a good one. I remember uh, flip again a long time yep. listener. I hope uh, Aaron's still listening to us. Haven't heard from you in a while, but uh, oh, I remember yeah. he specifically told us that uh, because of the, that 
episode where GameStop you could make money off of GameStop. He specifically got a Switch, uh, yeah. you know, at a, a steep discount for flipping. Um, let's see, one of the other ones was Take a Knee Discovery. <laughs> I forget what that one was about, but maybe Star Trek Discovery. I, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Cloudy with a chance of friendship. <laughs> I don't remember what that was about either. Not my I Sonic. Too come busy for Avengers. <laughs> what? <laughs> too come busy for. I think that's when, like, I guess Cumberbatch, Cumberbatch. was, ca- yeah. was uh, wow. cast as Doctor Strange, maybe. Flash going We've nowhere had some fast. Smart ones, but yeah, Flash going nowhere. I remember that title. Oh my god, that was good. Oh, our uh, Final Fantasy um, 15 episode was broke Brofest Fantasy. Yeah, Brofest Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Speaking of the uninformed. Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Aqua Bro catches a billion. Oh, I like the I like the ready pop culture reference when a uh, ready player oh, yep. came out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll be <laughs> oh, I liked our, our like one for uh, this past holiday season where it was a uh, Baby Yoda's Black Friday deal. <laughs> Car, you did a good job with the uh, baby Yoda, like looking at all, like there's all these like deals and stuff. <laughs> I like that one a lot. <laughs> what the hell was Confectionary Nightmare? That's when oh, that, we did our top five and worst five candies, candies, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Then I, I, I really like the um, artwork for the Randy Pitchford episode. That oh yeah, that was that was great. <laughs> that was great. That that definitely Bat- got us clicks. Batman shows his Grayson. Ah, yeah, oh, that's, uh, that's a good one. You can see the outline as penis. <laughs> see what we did with it, yeah. Man, oh, our poop cool. emoji one. Our poop emoji oh, one. Oh, poop, poop emoji is the best one. Yeah, that was just yeah. fantastic. Oh, man. Oh, we did uh, Disneyopoly when they finally announced uh, they were acquiring Fox, I think. Uh, oh, what's another one? <laughs> yeah, we have uh, some good ones over the years uh, oh, the nintendo wii a wee bit of guilt i wonder what that one was about <laughs> what can't be justice league <laughs> <laughs> oh we did justice league limited <laughs> For two years ago when justice league was yep, coming out yep. oh oh jim when uh the super nintendo classic came out we did super unicorn classic because you couldn't find freaking it. unicorn that was a damn unicorn. I found it, though, finally. But... Oh, oh, oh. The DCEU. <laughs> DC <laughs> nice. Disney Plus with uh, just cash symbols. The Big D experience. Oh, I forgot about the Big D experience, yeah. <laughs> that still is a thing in Altoona, Pennsylvania. I see it. I go to the, if I go out there again this summer, I'm going to see a movie there, and it says the Big D experience. It does have it there. That's crazy. We have one called Scarlett Johansson's plays a Japanese ghost. Yeah. Of course. Nice. Careful not to choke on your microtrans- microtransactions. Oh, right, yeah. that, that's what we didn't talk about. All of that in this last decade. Oh, we wow. missed the micro- microtransactions. Loot boxes. Yeah. yeah. You know what? At this point, I kind of miss loot boxes. I prefer them over these uh, premium passes. Because at least there was a chance to earn mm-hmm. in-game stuff with loot boxes. Yeah. Now you got to sign up for a, you know, yeah, a pass. Basically. To be fair, it looks like our easy modes, our easy modes may have been titled differently. It was easy mode and easy mode. Oh, really? Okay. It looks like okay, on, then, on, then it on the feed. It's, it's fine. We're fine. Yes. We're fine. Um, <laughs> yep. dis, disconnected was one of our titles. Oh, yeah. Uh, this fresh, oh, how, oh fresh, we saw fresh the... Fresh uh, Fresh yeah, Prince Ali. Fresh Prince Ali, I like that. Prince Ali. Yeah, that was good. Um, Passing the oh, human torch. Yeah. Oh, we saw cloudy, it, cloudy with a chance of friendship. I'm sorry. Was uh, the PlayStation and Xbox guys like uh, shaking hands on the, uh, the thumbnail? So that's what was happening. With that. It was about the cloud like sharing. Yeah. yeah technology. Yeah. yeah. Um, we did. Um, we saw the ro- or the fall of NeoGAF uh, because of the oh yeah scandal. Oh, we did a, a title that's episode right. Gaff Gone Wild. Mm. Yeah, the rise of Era now. Yeah. What's uh? Halo you also have confirmed. episode called "How to Say Spog," like the, the dragon. Smow, smow. I remember that now. Oh, we yeah. had we had one that was like Jeff Keeley, Kojima, 
something. Oh, it's positive. like bromance or something. With yeah, that. Like something. Ex Kojima, The Last of Us Part Two. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You know. Oh, game fake stops. Fallon versus fake Fallon versus clueless Conan. Yeah. I'm gonna call them out. Baby Groody equals Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Wow. Flash yes, going yeah, for. Some... Yep. Yep. Yeah. There's I mean, we there. have to obviously say Lois Lane, the classic butterflies. I mean, yeah. I, I can't find the episode, but we did have one called Adrian Brody's Nose, didn't we? Yeah, that was, I think that was in one of our top, like, it was like our 13th or 12th episode. You know, I'm really curious to the title of this one, 305, was Jim Breaks Things. Do you remember what you broke three years ago? Well, I always break my electronics. I'm guessing it's that. But yeah, I think you might have, like, actually dropped something during the the podcast i think yeah i have to listen to that episode right above that was a good one it was uh vinegar strokes sky oh <laughs> vinegar strokes yeah <laughs> uh, jim There's i don't one, know what i did there why is jim's like why is jim single or something there was one like that <laughs> why is jim single yeah uh oh yeah um let's see here did this hold door for the, overwatch hold, hold... <laughs> Hold the door for Overwatch, yeah. yep. Oh, um, We've had some definitely uh, awesome names, but <clears throat> one batch, two batch, PSVR. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Um, <clears throat> What else we have, guys? That's good. I think we've done a lot. We've had yeah, a lot I of mean, stuff. We're going to be we're gonna be streaming... Like I said, we're gonna do we're gonna do old school Halo. We're gonna play some. Uh, we have it all on Game Pass. We're gonna play some Halo yep. this weekend. So look for it on Twitch. Right. Let's, uh, uh, we'll let's be all streaming. remember to actually download it first, so we don't have to wait. Yeah, it's yeah. a huge download. I already have it downloaded. Yeah. So I gotta probably. I'll be, I'll be downloading it. I'm gonna queue that up right now because I can from the web. And then uh, that's actually the better way to do it because the Xbox Store is garbage on the Xbox. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, I, I mean, guess... there's. We, I don't know. I was just gonna say, you know, if you have stuck with us since the beginning, uh, thank you. Uh, yeah. And, that's, and, that's and look commitment. at and look at that. You're ten years older. Yeah, you're ten years <laughs> older. Uh, if you've come on since then, thank you as well. Uh, you know, uh, it's kind of crazy because I mean, I can't speak for everybody. I imagine you guys were just like, ah, oh, we talk about video games so much, and that's how you guys in movies, you guys were just like, let's start a podcast. And you know, I joined because I was like, oh well, like you know. I hardly got to see you guys at that point because uh, mm-hmm. you know I was in PA and you guys were in Jersey. I was like, well, it's a good way to just keep up with uh, you know the news and it, stuff. For like me, that. it was funny because I was actually like I had known Jim for like maybe less than a year at this point, and because uh, I was in a band with him and his brother, <laughs> and, yeah, and they're yeah. like, oh yeah, Jim's doing this uh, this uh, you know nerdy podcast. Like, and we're, you're in that into that too. You want to do? It? I'm like, okay. <laughs> that's pretty much that's pretty much how it happened and here we are you know 10 years later yeah, we, we were definitely at band practice and i was like yeah, yeah I, I definitely wanted to i was like we need somebody else it was just Corey and i and i'm like we can't fill the time uh yeah. but uh because we did that we did episode we did, zero yeah we did that like you know just like a there, kind of dry run there have definitely been times where we've, we've had to run with only two of us on i think oh yeah I think Corn and I, I think you and I have We did a couple, two yeah. We did a couple, duos, yeah. two mans. And I think Mike and Jim, do you guys do a couple duo it's podcasts? possible. Too? I'm not sure. Uh, we've done, we've done a few. I know I've done a du- couple duos, and I've also done a couple of spoiler casts. We did Last of Us, Corey, just you and, my, you and myself. There was nobody else on that. Oh, really? I don't, yeah, yeah. I didn't remember. Oh, yeah, I was late for that, because I, I borrowed it for one of you. It almost melted my PlayStation 3. We'll see Last of Us it, 2. It did melt. I, I believe it melted mine still i mean it it, it, it we took it took like i could make a sandwich come back and it would still be loading so i mean that's i have um on, well, in episode 100 i did like a little like super cut of the first like not all of the ones but jim you like you doing all the all the uh, intros uh, intros so I yeah i remember that, that was great that was a great cut yeah oh, let me, oh that was a good cut i remember that now yeah. i had different intros back then let's see like all right, hold on. Let me get to the beginning. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Welcome to the inaugural episode of All You Can Geek. That was pretty geeky, but anyways, I'm, uh, I'm Jim, and with me here is... Uh, Nothing's changed. Can you? Nope. We're going to be talking about some... Oh, we uh, had to say our own name. Stuff, I guess. Uh, you know, a bunch yeah. of different things. 
Uh, we want to get, you know, a little movies, you know, Comic-Con was this weekend. We're going to talk about Comic-Con today a little bit. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the second episode of All You Can Geek. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the third. What's up, everyone, and welcome to the fourth. Welcome to the fifth, everyone, and welcome to the sixth, episode seventh, and the eighth, and welcome to the ninth. It's All You Can Geek, podcast <laughs> number 10, 15, podcast episode number 25. Holy shit, it's All You Can Geek. <laughs> Podcast episode 25.5. What's up, everyone? It's All You Can Geek podcast episode number 30. This is a special edition podcast from PAX East 35, 30, 50, or 60, 70, 80. Episode number 90, 97, 98. Greetings and welcome, everyone, to an amazing All You Can Geek podcast episode number 99. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. And then it goes into 100. Like, I don't want to play the video, uh, the intro music to that. But I was like, oh man, like I don't, we don't do that anymore. We didn't yeah. do that. For, for, <laughs> no, uh, other ones. All that super cut. There's a lot more. To find like, all those now. There's too many episodes. No, it's too many. And then we also had like, I, I was listening back to those older episodes, and there's a lot of, like, I don't know what it was about. I think it was more of a confidence level of things. Like, it just didn't have it back then. It's just. Now, I don't mind talking about nonsense. Like nature now. now. Like, I was, yeah, I was afraid of mentioning things on those episodes, and I'm like, now I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like <laughs> too old to care. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. Uh, so no, the other thing was I thought was interesting. We used to have a segment called Best and Worst, where we would pick the best news of the week oh, and the worst wow. news. Of the week. Oh wow! I forgot that. about that. Maybe we could bring that back that. for a couple of episodes. We should try to bring that back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, bring those. Back. We should try to bring it back. <clears throat> let's try to bring that back next week. We're gonna try it. Uh, we got plenty of news to talk about next week because there's stuff we didn't talk about now. Uh, we're going to double the Plus news. We'll have next the uh, PlayStation 5 game reveal. We're going to have that, definitely. Um, so hopefully, we get enough. If we get enough content of that, maybe we'll do a bonus round for the PlayStation 5 reveal. Um, yeah. I just, have to shout you know, out to Bungie and uh, what they did today. It was pretty cool. cool. Excellent. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, very, I'm very hyped. I, that's why I want to talk about that stuff on you know, an episode. Like, week, I'm looking yeah. forward to it. Yeah. Because I think what they showed today for Destiny was impressive. Um, so. All right. Uh, I think that's going to wrap up 500 of this uh, podcast. Um, so, yeah, guys, we're going forward to 501 next week. We're going to be streaming games this weekend. Look for that on Twitch. Uh, write us podcast at allyoucangeek.net. Jesus. Uh, and follow us on Twitter at allyoucangeek. Like us on Facebook. If you watch this on YouTube, please hit, hit that subscribe button. Uh, the like button as well. Um, we're growing that channel. So, Feel free to mention it to your friends too. <laughs> and uh, YouTube is is a is a flooded place, but we have our videos on there. You can see us on there and talk. Yeah. Uh, you can if see you how guys much want just... to see us uh, put some actual like game content on there. I know I have a few in there every now and then. Oh, Let us know go, too. Uh, yeah. yeah, Overwatch stuff. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I think like that's already, there's so much stuff we can put on there, and then um you know I mean it's you can see the great reactions like we just had when I was I was seriously crying just a little bit ago when Corey was playing the Barb stuff. You can see that on that video. Uh, so tune in, tune into that. Uh, thanks for listening to all of these episodes. For If you've seen, heard them all, thank you. If not, if you've heard, this is their first one. Welcome. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We appreciate it. See you guys for Stay five tuned for the next, the next 10 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah 10 years for uh, episode 1,000. 1,000. <laughs> Woo. Thanks. Zombants. 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 <laughs> Zombants is bad.